Hello students, welcome to Talk on Civil Engineering. So let us see one more question from Plain Scales. So the question is displayed on the screen. So in this question, we need to construct a scale long enough to measure 60 meters. And so before that, we need to cal calculate what is RF value. So here in the question, he is mentioned that one five centimeter side represents a tank of 8000 cubic meters so 5 centimeter this 5 centimeter length representing 8000 cubic meters so it is representing 8000 cubic meters okay so for calculating rf so 5 centimeter will be in numerator and 8000 meter cube will be in denominator but this is in this is in three dimensional this is in one dimension okay so it is having only one dimension and it is having three dimensions so for this we need to convert this three dimension into one dimension okay so how how can we convert this into one dimension one dimension simply so for 8000 8, so this cube will be one third okay so there are three dimensions as there so divide this one one by uh, one by third will be the one dimension okay so five centimeter divided by 8000 1 by 30. Okay. For suppose if he has given area instead of cube, he has given the area like uh, 20 meters square has given. So it means it is two dimensional. So we need to convert this into one dimensional. So for that, so 20 divided by uh, 20 to the power of 1 by 2. So we'll be in one dimensional. Okay. So here for calculating RF, so 5 centimeter divided by 8000 to the power of 1 by 3. So 1 by 3 we are giving. Uh, 1 by oh, 8000 to the power of 1 by 3 we are putting 1 by 3 because to convert this into single dimension unit dimension okay so units should be same this is in meters so 5 centimeter divided by 8000 1 by 3 into so 1 meter will be 100 centimeters okay so here my rf will be 1 by 400 so put this values in calculator you will get this value 1 by 400 so this whether it should be ha it should have in fraction itself okay so now the next thing we need to calculate the maximum length of the scale so rf is the first point second point is the length of scale length of scale the formula we know rf into maximum length maximum length to measure okay so we know rf is 1 by 400 and what is the maximum length to measure it is 60 meters it has given in the question 60 meters again this meter we need to convert in centimeter 60 into 100 so if we have 400 zeros two zeros get cancelled and four ones and four fifteens so 15 centimeters Okay, so our scale is long enough. So uh, we need to construct a scale long uh, length of 15 centimeters and width 1 centimeter width. Okay, now let us draw the scale. Okay, so we have a rectangle of 15 centimeter and 1 centimeter. Now we have to divide this 15 centimeter into how many parts? So for that, look at the maximum length. Okay, so he is asking to measure up to 60 meters. 60 meters. So 60 meters we need to measure on this scale. That means one part can be 1 meter. Like that we can measure 60 meters. But we can't divide our this 15 meters line into 60 parts. We can't divide like that. Okay, that is that will be very difficult so let us divide this 60 meters into six parts so that one part will be equal to 10 meters okay so we having six six parts one part will be 10 10 meters so six into 10 will get 60 meters okay now let us divide this 
let us divide this 15 centimeters into six parts okay so we are having 15 centimeter line so this 15 centimeter line we have to divide six parts so it is, we are getting 2.5 centimeters okay so for every 2.5 centimeter will be one part So 2.5 centimeter here. Second part. Third part. Fourth part. And fifth and sixth. So now, now draw the lines, draw the horizontal lines in between so that it looks like a scale. So for alternate boxes, I'm drawing horizontal scales, horizontal lines. Yeah. So here I'm having six parts. So one part will be equal to 10 meters. So this is zero here, and this is 10, and this is 20, 30, 40. And 50, 60 will be this part. Okay, so this is in meters. Right now, so here we can show up to 60 meters, but in is is ask, is also asking to measure, uh, is asking to show a distance of 47 meters, like 54 meters. Okay, so 40 we can show here. Okay, and seven meters also we can we have we have to show. So for that reason, let us divide this first box into meters. Okay, so this part will be equal to ten meters. So let us divide this this into ten equal parts, such that one part will be one meter. Okay. So now this is two point five. It is two point five. Okay, so two point five should be divided into ten equal parts. So it will be zero point two five. That means uh, two point five mm. So twenty five mm is divided by 10 so it will you are getting 2.5 mm so 2.5 mm is very difficult to take on the scale so now what we'll do we'll draw a we draw a diagonal line and we'll divide that into 10 equal parts so that will be better okay so here i'm drawing a diagonal line of 4 centimeters so such that every 4 mm will be one part so i can divide this is 4 centimeters i can easily divide this into 10 equal parts Four. four and eight. Yeah. So here I got ten equal parts. Now what I will do? I will join these parts. The last point to the last point. Now, similarly, I have to draw the parallel lines to the first line. All these lines should be very light. Now draw the vertical lines. So now we got the 10 equal parts. So this is 10 here, 10 meters, 0, 1, this is 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, 7 and 8. So this is in meters. So now our scale is completed. So in the between we have to write RF. So RF is equal to 1 is to 400. Okay. Now let us show whatever he asked to 
show on this way. So it has to show 47 meters. So 40 is here, draw a vertical line, dimensional line. And 7, so this is 6 and this will be the 7. So this is 47 meters, so 47 meters and also 54 meters, so 50 is here and 4 is, is 2, 3 and 4, so this is 4. And 50 is here. So this is 54 meters. Okay, so this is how we are going to draw the plane scale. Even if he has given cubes, so like eight here he has mentioned 8,000 meter cube or areas also. Okay, so this is how we can draw the plane. Thank you all.